I meet them and then they're, you know, they become stars or they become like on these big shows and I get, I'm so excited for them. Do you think that's a mistake? Like you look at like housewives, for instance, like, you know, look, it's a revolving door. Like, you know, when you get the job, there's absolutely no job security. You could be there for 10 years or fired. Like, do you think a mistake people make is like you said, you meet all these people, you're so excited for them, but you know, year one, you're like, whatever year two, you're just happy to be back year three. In my opinion is when you start to maybe feel yourself. If I were this person, I would look in the mirror every morning and say, there's nothing special about you. You could be fired today. And then I would go do my job. I mean, do you think that's a, you know, something that people do wrong, like on any hit reality show when you're a cast member, like a hundred percent, I think on any reality show there's and and competition shows too, right? You have to, that's why I say you have to go into it with this could be the last time you get to be on this show. And it could be like you said, Doc, you follow, you could be on a housewife for 10 years and then get fired. You could be on Vanderpump rules for, you know, eight years and get canned. And they're just like, sorry, we found another 20 year old and you never know what's going to happen. So you have to make yourself valuable and you have to make sure that you're putting yourself in a position to, you know, have job security, I guess. <laughs> it's like, it's a difficult industry, but it, it I feel like it has so many amazing opportunities and such a fun industry to be part of. It just always shocks me when like a housewife is let go. And it's like, I mean, everyone's let go eventually. Yeah. Like, they, why are you shocked? Like, I could have told you this. Yeah. I don't know. Do you have any fail? Like, would you watch Housewives? I mean, are you a Housewives? Oh, fan? I totally watch Housewives. Yeah, of course I do. I I've been watching the Miami one on Peacock. It's so fun. Um, I watched Beverly Hills, Orange County. I never really got into Atlanta. Um, but I think that's because I was just always and I haven't. I watched Salt Lake City, but then I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. So and then I have not. I don't think I've ever watched Dallas. Um, or I started watching Potomac, but then I just was like watching the traders. So <laughs> which is there's of a course. Lot. there's a lot of content. <sighs> Tell me about it. When like, someone is let go, like like Elisa Rinna, you know, at the second week of the yeah. season, and not to be arrogant, I was like, Oh, she's this is her last season. I, I'm sensing yeah. it. Like, can you tell? And are you and does anything in reality TV shock you? You know, like Jed Shaw is in jail, the Chrisleys, oh like the Jen Shaw thing shocked me because I was like. I did not see that coming, but then I'm also thinking in my head, like, okay, yeah, it just totally makes sense. (laughs) Like, you remember Teresa when she went to jail? That was like such a big story too, right? And it was like, well, yeah, of course she's going to go to jail. She like literally committed a crime and like, she's on, you know, reality TV just doesn't make her not going to jail proof or whatever. But I don't know that I'm as shocked anymore because I work in the industry, right? But I... I love watching the stories unfold. (laughs) And what about, you know, I always said to my best advice, again, I haven't, don't have the reality TV background that you do, but as far as being on the shows, but you know, to me, it's always like, you got to be easy to work with people. You got it. It's like a real job. Like if you were like, do you, I mean, is that true? Would you agree? Do you think that really factors into it where, or could you be like, I'm sorry, I make great TV. You're not firing me. Like, where is that line? Do you think in your opinion? Absolutely not in my opinion. And it could also come from working behind the scenes too. I mean, I've done everything from, I've ran coffees. I was a PA, like, I've literally done it all. And this was after Big Brother. It wasn't like, you know, before Big Brother, like after Big Brother, I had to go back and work my way up. I was like running coffees. I was doing, you know, whatever recruiting job and casting I could get. I would literally, I was just like, please just let me, I will work for free. Just put me in a job. I want to be in this industry. So I think it's really important to remember that if it's a runner, if it's, you know, the executive producer, whoever you're talking to, you need to be respectful. It is a job. And these people are trying to also, you know, have a job. And this is their, like, they go to, they're going to work too. They're trying to make money. Like they're doing the same thing that everyone's doing. So no, you cannot ever have a big head. We're all trying to be on the same job. Like one person's job is in front of the camera. The other person's job is running coffee, but we're all equal, right? Like on every set, we're all the same. So I just don't understand. I don't understand that mentality. And I, I don't like it when people are not nice to the like the runners, or they're just not nice to people that work in production. And I've heard horror stories. And I'm always like, well, you know, I'm sure they'll get their karma one day. But there's a lot of you'd be surprised. I mean, I'm sure you're not surprised because you work in the industry too. But 
anyone listening would be surprised of the story horror stories I've heard. And then it's like, then when you're not there and you don't have the job and you want yeah. sympathy for the next time your name comes up on a different show and no one wants to work with you. It's like, didn't right. I see this coming? Yeah, no, I know. I don't get that at all. And I feel like I'm pretty, I, I think I'm pretty easy to work with. I feel like I'm always very respectful of everyone. And I go in and I'm always thanking people. I try to get their names. I try to always like ask if I can help, you know, I'll be on camera, but I'm always like, can I get something? Can I help with anything? Like, it doesn't matter, you know? Do you think, I mean, I once interviewed someone who said this and I started thinking, I was like, it's kind of true. Do you think like you look at like a Teresa, the Chris Lee's Jen Shaw, like there is this group of reality people that then get, even like Mike, the situation that do have legal troubles. Like, do you think it's like a higher percentage? Because like the argument could be like, you know, reality TV attracts like a certain type of, you know, entrepreneur, someone that takes risks is out there. It's kind of associated. Like, do you think it's kind of related in some sense? Maybe, but I also think that it's just like everything else where now at this point, reality TV has been around for 20 years and it's just, you know, we're going to see all different kinds of stories. Right. So, and I mean, there's like a show called like love after lockup, you know, I mean, there's, I think it's just kind of like at this point, yeah, probably it does attract people that want to take risks and want to push the envelope. But by the same token, there's a plenty of people in real life that are taking way more risks than any of the people you've mentioned. And they're just not on reality TV and we don't hear about it every day in the press, you know? So it's, I think it's probably because we hear about it in the press. It's a flashy story. Do you think people like we just on Potomac, like I know you say don't watch Potomac. We had a situation where someone filmed and it was like a, some fake storyline. She came up with it. Turns out like her husband may have had an affair, but none of this was on the show. It all came out yeah. after, you know, like you're not showing your real life. Do you think like, listen, if you like, say I'm hired, someone's listening, hired for reality TV tomorrow. Not that I have anything to hide, but like, should you just let it all out? Like I always said, if I got a show, I would hire a private investigator. I want to know every tweet I've ever sent. Like, everything comes out like you even look at the bachelor and also some of their controversy like is it that like guys like this is a whole different level now like it's everything you've done is going to somehow come out oh a hundred percent and you have to be ready to you know accept that and that's just the nature of the business you know and yeah it's gonna come out and and there's people that will find it that from what 15 20 years ago so and you know, you gotta be right. And we do background checks in casting. We do. And they, now they have social media checks and they go back 10 years for these social media checks. And so we can tell people like, Hey, this is questionable. Um, you know, but people, I mean, we can't make someone do something. Is that really what it is now? Like if you get a show, someone from like a social media point of view is really scouring your stuff. Oh, there's a whole company that we hire that does it. And they, every single show I work on now, it's not even, it's even for, even wow. for game shows I work on, we have someone that goes through and scours your social media posts because it's such a big, it's so important. Like people need to really remember that if you want to be on a show, you really need to think about what the kind of stuff that you're saying. Wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What about, you know, I feel like you were like, listen, some people didn't like you. Lots of people love to hate you. Same with Lisa 